What up, world? What up, me? This is Dre Wise. Come at it like this. Dre Wise Topic. Topic is. Hold on for me. I want to get the glare out of this camera. Topic is the Black Lives Matter organization is not mentioning how some of us individuals, certain black men and black women, is mouth it off to the white officer, getting smart and disrespectful and challenging his authority. You know, they're not mentioning that. Wrong is wrong, you know. Wrong is wrong. By looking like this. We are so quick. Some of us are so quick to get irritated by this officer. Why you stop me? Why you stop me? What what you want? What 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 you know? The moment you do that, you know what I'm saying? Say that or get smart or challenge his authority or mouth off like that. You're giving him a reason, you know what I'm saying, sometimes to put his hand on his firearm or his taser and then wind up drawing it and shooting you down, you know. Rather than you use your head, less than use your mouth, you know. Like I said, wrong is wrong. They can get on TV and say, well, they, sh they shouldn't be doing that. True enough, they shouldn't be doing that, you know what I'm saying, shooting us down like that. No. But you got to realize what we do. You know what I'm saying? When we dish out, the cause that does, they get put down like that. You know? Because that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like that one story that happened on CNN. You know? About that big black man, that heavy set black man. He got choked out like that. It was a clip when he was mouthed off to these officers, these officers and stuff. He was. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, this, this is crazy. See? He brought that on himself. Wrong is wrong, but he dished out all that, you know what I'm saying? All that anger and all that frustration on the office like that. So, you know, and like that time when it happened uh, with that one young dude, you know what I'm saying? They, they showed a clip on CNN. Young dude was shooting back at the officers. Shoot it back, you know what I'm saying? That's a big no-no, you know? That's challenging the story right there, you know what I'm saying? This young dude was, he, everybody was trying to uh, hide, trying to dodge the bullets, get behind cars. This young dude posting up like, oh, I'm about to draw back, I'm about to fire back, you know what I'm saying? And look what happened, he wound up dying, you know? Just like that one story with that one woman, you know? I think, was she from uh, Texas or something? Somewhere in the southern state, somewhere. She mopped off to the officer. The officer said, ma'am, can you put out your cigarette she did not want to do it she, she got agitated she got smart and said they got her out the car and said oh yeah we about to do something to you when we get behind the closed doors such as the county jail we about to beat you to death and that's what they did and they covered that up you know what I'm saying they covered that up they beat that woman that black woman in jail you know cause what she did as far as how she came off and dished it out like that you know so that's what I'm saying. These Black Lives Matter people, uh, organization not mention that at all. You know what I'm saying? How we mouth off. Our choice of actions lead up that way. You know. But like I said, wrong is wrong. They shouldn't put us down. Put us down like that. You know what I'm saying? Follow what we say or how we come off. They could handle it in a different way. You know. But I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. I can explain for myself as a example. And when I moved into my apartment, where I'm at now, currently at now, you know, now this officer, he do his rounds, he do security and stuff like that. He worked for a uh, Akron department, you know. He do his rounds. They hire him to do security, whatever. He see me, you know, and he thought, uh, like, what you doing here? I never seen you before, whatever. You know what I'm saying? He said, do I know anybody here? I said, well, no. I just moved here and and um, I rent this place out. Oh, okay, okay. He didn't want to believe me, you know, at all. So I keep telling him in a mild-tempered way. Kept saying to him, I live here. I pay rent. 
it like that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, no, blah, blah, blah. I came out with a good attitude, attention, respect. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come off like getting smart when I'm saying, man, get off, man. Why you, why you all this and this and that? Off, why you? You know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know? And that's why I look at it. You come at them right, it'll save your life. Use this up here rather than this. You know? Because true enough, that officer, he was just post up like, you know what I'm saying? Seeing what, how, how I'm going to react, you know what I'm saying? And true enough, he he, he had his hand on his on his taser or a little fire or whatever. I looked at that, but I didn't have no fear. I just like, like okay, be going all day, all day, all night to maybe try to convince you I live here, you know? So, that's that. I mean, that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy what you see. Like that one, you know, uh, was going on with uh, Ferguson and was it uh, other places, you know what I'm saying? How we get put down by the white officer, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes that get, excuse me, sometimes that get brought on by what we say out of our mouths, you know what I'm saying? How we do things and challenge that officer authority, you know? So we need to come correct. And that's why I say this. Some of us black men and black women, you know what I'm saying, make us look foolish, you know what I'm saying? And that's why they count us as the race of foolish people, you know what I'm saying? Foolish, foolish people, difficulty people, you know what I'm saying? We are. So someone like me or an ex-man can come at right with the officer. They say they lies. But somebody do the opposite of that and want to talk smart to this officer and uh, cuss at this officer and launch at this officer, you head on a road of demise and he going to put you down. What he's trying to do is shoot real well, shoot at you, you know what I'm saying, and put you down. So, some of you might like say, well, 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 this and this and that. Well, look at the fact with these Black Lives organization are mentioning what they are not mentioning you know what I'm saying they mention that well we get put down by these white officers and stuff but they're not looking at the other other side of the fence like what we doing to get put down like that you know what I'm saying as far as our action and what words that come off our tongues you know so that's that I mean just look at that just look at that though you know Cause I got I got kids myself, you know. I got a son and two daughters and whatever. Now I'm explaining to my children that you know, always respect the authority. You know, say do not mouth off to that white officer or whatever officer of color. Do not do that. You know what I'm saying? Cause the moment you do that, you get a whole awakening of something that you're not prepared to do. Go for as Accept, you know what I'm saying? So, just respect the officer. Yes, no, things like that. You know? So when you do the opposite, prepare to have some bullets all in you, you know? So, that's that. Dre Wise topic, you know what I'm saying? I am Dre Wise. You can post a comment about what I just said, you know what I'm saying, if you like, you know what I'm saying, and I'll read it, you know, things like that, but I will not uh, reply, you know, um, like, share, subscribe, do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying, I am Dre Wise, and this is Dre Wise Topics, peace.